वेलकम टू जे बी एस एस होमवर्क क्लब टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट वॉट इज सेल द सेल्स आर द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चरल फंक्शनल एंड बायोलॉजिकल यूनिट ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम सेल इज द स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ द सेल्स आर ऑफ्टेड कॉल द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ लाइफ discovery of cell the first time word cell was used in 1665 by a british scientist named robert hooke hooke was one of the earliest scientists to study living things under a microscope the microscope of his days were not very strong but hooke was still able to make an important discovery After Hooke's discovery, Anton von Leeuwenhoek made his own microscope. Using his microscope, he was the first person to observe human cells and bacteria. Now let's see types of cells. In living organisms, basically there are two types of cells are found. First, eukaryotic cells and second, prokaryotic cells. First, what are eukaryotic cells? Eukaryotic cells contain a nucleus and organelles and are enclosed by a plasma membrane. Example, plant cell, fungal cells, animal cell and protozoa. Second, what are prokaryotic cells? Prokaryotic cells that are do not have a true nucleus or membrane bound organelles. Example, bacterial cell, archaeal cell. size of cell the cell size is variable in all living organisms the cell size may be as small as millionth of a meter or may be as large as a few centimeters usually all the cells are microscopic in size and are not visible to our naked eye functions of cells the cells provide support and structure to the organism's body cells help in reproduction cells provide energy and allow the transport of substance in the organism's body 